Recently, Starship SN10 became the first Starship prototype to successfully complete the high altitude flight test. One interesting point to note here is during SN10's spectacular landing, at least two or three of the Starship's six landing legs failed to properly deploy, leaving the prototype with just half of the landing legs required to fully withstand the momentum of a landing Starship. And SN10 didn't make life easy for the remaining legs either. During touchdown, the prototype was still traveling at 15 to 20 miles per hour, velocity much higher than expected. As a result, Starship crushed those landing legs into oblivion, leaving the rocket more or less resting on its skirt section with no more than few inches of ground clearance, if anything. Elon Musk recently wrote on Twitter that even with all the landing legs deployed, Ascentance momentum during landing was way past the load the landing legs were designed to absorb. And the fact that only half of the landing legs deployed made the matters even worse. To refresh your memory, the first flight attempt of Starship Ascent 10 was automatically aborted by the flight computers as it majored higher than expected thrust from the Raptor engines. Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that contrary to what flight computers majored, the thrust from the Raptor engine during final phase of Ascent 10's flight was in fact lower than expected, which ultimately caused the hard touchdown. He also added that the reason to why this happened is still unknown at present. About 8 minutes after what seemed at that time as a successful landing, the prototype violently depressurized, producing a massive fireball as any remaining propellant flashed into gas and ignited. It's unclear if the post-landing failure was caused completely due to the hard landing or if there was some other technical issue also contributing to it. But regardless of the explosion, the flight test was still a spectacular and historic success for SpaceX. And at the same time, it also shed light on the shortcomings that can be addressed with Starship SN11 and beyond. SN10 used a new landing approach, relighting all the three Raptor engines for the landing maneuver and step by step moving down to a single engine for touchdown. This method proved almost completely successful. However, the still maturing technology of the Raptors and these temporary prototype landing legs points out that for the time being, SpaceX still need to further refine the landing phase so that the upcoming Starship SN11 can be a complete success. As it turns out, SpaceX engineers have already refined the landing burn to solve the problems faced by SN10. In the tweet I mentioned before, Elon Musk added that for SN11, they are going to use two engines all the way to touchdown and if any of the two Raptor engines underperform, the flight computer will automatically relight the third one to make sure the landing velocity remains low. Another big hurdle for a successful Starship landing has always been the landing legs. For almost a full year, Elon Musk has been talking about a need for upgraded landing legs and the challenges posed by the seemingly straightforward goal. After seeing Ascent's malfunctioning landing legs, a new design capable of significantly improving the reliability, stability and toughness of the landing legs has likely become the front and center priority for SpaceX's Starship team. As it turns out, a series of new official SpaceX renders, released as a part of an update for the Dio Moon project, may have revealed the latest glimpse of an updated landing leg design. As you can see, these renders feature a Starship with outside mounted landing legs. This updated design is reminiscent of an earlier landing leg concept released by SpaceX. The current landing legs used by the Starship prototypes were always meant to be temporary and after Ascent-10's flight, maybe it's time that Starship gets some powerful landing legs to stand on. Knowing how SpaceX works, it is also possible, if not likely, that these renders are already months old and one or several versions outdated. Either way, it is safe to say that significantly upgraded landing legs could start appearing at SpaceX's Boca Chica rocket facility anytime now. However, I don't think SN11 will have any upgraded hardware. The major upgrade for Starship SN11 is the landing burn, which will now use two engines all the way to touchdown. With these upgrades made, there is high probability that SN11 will be the first Starship prototype to soft land after a complex high altitude flight. As of the making of this video, Starship SN11 is almost ready to be rolled out to the launch pad and begin ground testing. The prototype will undergo the usual cryogenic proof test and the static fire tests before eventually going for another high altitude flight. Do you think the new landing approach will result in the soft landing? Do let me know in the comment section. If you are new here, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.